good morning for me and my squimmy coffee as always made of my my protein flav drops disclaimer this very short interval just here is sponsored by my protein but you guys know i'm a proud ambassador for them highly recommend putting the vanilla flav drops in your coffee you won't go back and my other product that i've been obsessed with recently and as you can tell it's worn and torn i've been using it all the time is the blueberry cinnamon vegan protein blend. I've almost finished this bag. I'm just obsessed. I'm having it in every single one of my smoothies because it's just so delicious. So definitely recommend checking out this flavor. And I'll pop a cheeky little discount code in the description box, which will get you a hefty discount on these products. All right, now that is done. I'm going to drink my morning coffee and then I have so much to update you guys on. So much. Hi. Oh, my body is really stiff. Really sore. Really sore from working out properly, or not properly, but working out with heavier weights over the last couple of days. Because, oh, that's one thing to update you on. Guys, there's so much to update you on with the house. I think I might just have to dedicate the first section of this video to giving you a massive house update. One of the biggest updates is that our home gym is almost finished. Yeah, I'd say it's 90% there, isn't it? 90% finished. We've been training in it and we've got barbells, we've got a rack. Oh my God, it's so freaking cool. And we're so excited about it. So I'm just going to drink my coffee. We'll both drink our coffees, probably have some breakfast, and then we'll take you on a tour around the house and show you where everything's at. It's yeah? a good idea, isn't it? I think it's a great idea. Where should we start? In the gym? Let's start in the gym. Okay. But let's drink our coffee first. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. My ears aren't that big. So, first things first, we're going to show you the current state of the gym. So, I'm going to do a full tour. I feel like we're going to wait for the full tour to be once it's done, but I'll give you a little, little sneak peek. Okay? Welcome! Can you see? Yeah, just about. So, it's still a bit of a mess. We still have some things happening, like mirrors coming in and light changes because these lights are too dark. And there's a few other things that are going on. But, as you can tell, we have a rack with barbells and plates and we have a weights rack with dumbbells and kettlebells and balls and a rower and we have more equipment arriving and we just need to like tidy it up put in some probably fake plants because it's so dark in here doesn't really have any natural light or a very small amount of natural light and yeah there's a lot more to come for this room but i'm so excited about it guys look we have a loving home gym so now that I've shown you the glamorous part of the house that's almost finished and is very exciting, I'm going to show you the less glamorous side of the house. Let me just close this door because it's so echoey right now. This house is just one big echo. So, so we are having a lot of, what would you describe it as? Building work? But it's not really building. It is semi-building work then. Semi-building work. Semi-building work. We're having lots of semi-building work done to the house. We're having it done in two different phases. So. Phase one is pre-Christmas, and that is what we see as the key rooms. So that's the offices, the living room, the snug, the stairway, and the main bedroom. And then phase two we're doing after Christmas, and that is the less key rooms. So that's all of the guest bedrooms. And if you want to take, make any changes to any bathrooms, we will do that in phase two, but we're undecided if we're going to change any of the bathrooms yet. So those are the two phases, and we are right now seven days into phase one. We started it on Monday, right now it's Sunday, and lots has changed in this house over the course of this week. There's a lot going on, so I'll give you a little update, shall I? Yeah. So this is the hallway situation. We obviously have this surface protection flooring down. I think this is something to do with fitting the I think it's underlay. Floor. Okay, I think it's underlay. This is wooden flooring, which is not the one that we're using, because the wrong one turned up. If you follow us on our Surrey Nest, you should definitely follow us. I'll pop it on screen here. Come follow us on Instagram. You will know about all the drama with the flooring. The wrong flooring arrived. That was stressful. So we're waiting for that to get switched out, which can't be done for another month. Fun times. So everything got rejigged. And yeah, that's the state of the hallway. Nothing's actually really changed in here, has it? This is just used for storage right now. Yeah, this is storage. And actually, you know what else is used for storage? My office. So my office right now is what I like to call a hot mess. And it's basically a storage for all of the contractors and the builders, the carpenters, the electricians. All of the equipment is currently stored in my office and there's a lot of changes happening in here. We're having panelling put on all the walls and there's painting and there's a radiator change and curtain change and all sorts of bits and bobs going on in here. But right now, this is the storage room or the hot mess room, as I like to call it. Next up are very echoey 
living room. Echo! It's mad. <laughs> so, welcome. Our living room right now is stripped, bare. So we have our flooring taken out, we have our skirtings taken off, our radiators taken out. And yeah, I think we're just going to start painting this next week, which is exciting. Basically, we started from scratch with this room and this blue wall is going. All of this paint is going, everything is changing. What about the lights? Are they changing the lights in here? No, lights are staying the same, but we're adding in more floor lights. Floor lights, so as in get, lamps? Yeah, because it'll get brighter in here because it's quite a dark room. It is, yeah, so, there's only four lights in there. Yeah, so we're going to add in some more floor lights to brighten it up. Okay. Next up, we have another echoey room. This is... This is Ant's room, Ant's office, and again, it's basically the same as the living room. Right now, the carpet is being stripped out, the skirting boards have come off, radios have come out, and they've also stripped off the horrendous wallpaper that's on the wall behind you guys. So yeah, this has been fully stripped, and I think paint, etc. starts on Monday, so tomorrow. Welcome to our stairs. As you can see, they have a lovely plastic covering on them, which is protective because we do constantly have builders, contractors, etc. Coming in and out of the house, so they put this on to help protect the stairs. Even though these stairs are actually getting stripped out and changed in phase one, so you'll have to stay tuned to see that. So let's head upstairs and show you the main bedroom. Come on in to our bedroom. Another echoey room, because again, everything has been stripped out. So, carpet's gone, skirting board's gone, radiator's gone. And they have put these in for wiring, which they actually did wrong. So they're going to change those next week. Why, why did they do it wrong? Why is that supposed to go diagonal due to electricians' safety regulations? So they're going to change the wiring setup. But one exciting thing here is that we're getting panelling on this back wall. And as you can see from these markings, this is roughly where the panels are going to be going and they're going to be painted a beautiful muted sage green colour. So I can't wait for you guys to see those. So this is where we are currently sleeping. You might remember from the house tour, this is the largest guest bedroom. So we just moved our mattress over here and our bed still hasn't arrived. And even if it did arrive, we don't want to put it up until we can put it up in that room. Otherwise we'd have to take it down again anyway. So we're just going to stay sleeping on our mattress on the floor up until the end of phase phase one. I keep getting mixed up with the phases. To so the end of phase one of the building work, then we'll put our bed up and then we'll sleep in a bed, which will hopefully be before Christmas, which is so exciting. But honestly, guys, sleeping on a mattress on the floor, I'm a fan of it. I, I like it too. Pardon? I like it too. You like it too? Yeah. I do like it. I just made that bed. Did you? Yeah. Sorry, it's just so comfortable. <laughs> guys, I thought that that was all the house updates, but I just walked downstairs and realised I haven't shown you guys on a vlog our newest plant. Can you see how big this is? This is as tall as me. This is a brand new fiddly fig. And when I saw it in stock in the largest size on patch plants, I had to order it because I never really have it in stock anymore in the largest size. And I'm just obsessed. This is the biggest plant I've ever owned. And I am... Um, in love with her she's called Frida so yeah Frida the fiddly fig what a beauty and Ant right now because obviously he can't use the living room as an office he is working here in the snug with me and I am working over there so we're both working in the snug while we wait for phase one the building work to be complete all right put on a little jacket some boots and my new bag which you saw in my video last week and it's actually probably its first outing out of the house. I've been scared to bring it out of the house, but it's coming out of me today and I'm going to put it to good use. So first up of the day is we're going to go for some brunch forward slash early lunch. And then we're going to go to the golf range, aren't we, babe? Yeah, Zana requested that she goes to the golf range today, so I obliged. I requested, I requested, that's a lie. I did not request this. I'm going to have a go at hitting some balls, but I have brought a book with me just in case I get bored. <laughs> Hey up. Cheers. This is my section of the vlog because I'm playing golf. Yeah. Zana's come to the driving range with me and we're going to go, go hit some golf balls. We are. Let's see how this goes, guys, because I've never really played golf before. But good news. The blue sun's skies. out. I'm squinting because yes. I can't see anything. Really, really hope it sticks around. Come on, England. You've got this. Come on. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at his glove. Apparently, these 
these aren't very good golf shoes, but I They're beg not. to differ. I've not seen many people play in three inch heels. Except me. Oh god. Well, I was supposed to hit the It went straight. <laughs> it went straight. Yes, it went. I'm just gonna sunbathe. It's really warm. I'm gonna yeah. sunbathe. How many degrees do you think it is? So we have finished up at the range, which I feel, I mean, I had a great time, but I think it was an activity that we did for Ant. So now I've chosen the next activity and we're going to RHS Wisley Garden. No. Oh, you're going to like it. You're going to like it. We've got a garden. No, it's a really nice garden. Okay, the fine. Royal Horticultural Society RHS Garden. garden. Yeah. In Wisley. In Wisley, and it's supposed to be incredible. So we had to pre-book tickets and this a few days ago, and I'm yeah. very excited for us to go and have a look. Guys, as I said in previous vlogs, I am turning into my mother and I blooming love a garden. And my father, to be honest. So yeah, we're gonna go and have a little gander. And in typical British fashion, there's a grey cloud over there and a blue sky over there, and it's probably gonna rain, but we're just gonna have a great time and look at some pretty flowers and some autumn leaves, yeah? I've got my Wellington boots and my brolly, so I'm, I'm good. Good, I'm happy for you. What have you. you got? I've got a Chanel bag and absolutely no waterproof, so I'm perfectly ready for this. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> Here he is, in his wellies with his brolly. Such a little country bumpkin, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah? She needs a shotgun, go shoot some pheasants. Nah, we, we love pheasants. <laughs> we love I was so shook when you said that. Babe, we don't do things like Babe, that. There's a problem. I've got my welly, welly boots on. Oh god, here we go. You having a good time? Alright, we're in. It looks like we have a lot to explore. And Ant's taking a picture so we can refer back to this map. Now that is a pumpkin display. Look at the size of that bad boy. Where are we going? I don't know. I actually have no idea, but I'm just... It looks pretty down there, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. It's just the perfect time, I think. I think the best time to go to a garden is to see the spring or autumn, you know? So... And we're in autumn now. We've got those autumn colours. The autumnal trees. Autumnal leaves. Look at the colour of that tree. It's amazing, isn't it? Gorgeous. Oh, look down here. I do love a garden. I think this is one of my favourites. Can anybody tell us in the comments what this is? Because the colour it turns in autumn is just phenomenal. Guys, I think this is actually what it's called. An Acer Palmatum Crimson Queen. And I tell you what, she is an absolute crimson queen. That's her crown. Yeah, this is her crimson crown. Guys, I've honestly decided, I mean, I've only been here 20 minutes, but I've decided that this is my favourite tree in autumn, <laughs> Acer's. So babe, what did you think of RHS Wisley? Garden. Wisley Garden. I yeah. thought it's blooming incredible. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am prolific with my garden visits. I've been visiting about two gardens per week in Surrey because I just want to explore as much as I can on my doorstep right now. Yeah. And honestly, it's my favorite one. It's just so gorgeous, so much diversity, so many beautiful, so much beautiful flora and fauna and just, it's big Art, as well. And it's huge, there's so much to see and do, and there's nice cafes, mm. and I'm just, I just think it's great. And we didn't even go inside the greenhouse either. No, we didn't yeah. even go in there. But it's massive. Have, we've done how many steps today? Almost 10,000 steps. Yeah, almost 10,000 steps walking around here, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And what did you think? I really enjoyed it. Really, really nice. Really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a really nice time of year to come here in autumn when there's so many different colours and yeah. they're just. Very autumnal, isn't Very it? autumnal, lots of autumn vibes going on here. Mm. So highly, highly, highly recommend it if you're visiting Surrey to head to RHS Wisley Garden. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And now, what are we going to do? Now we're going to go to the garden centre and get some more bird feed, probably. Yeah, I do like to get more bird feed and just have a little browse. I'm not ashamed of the fact that I blooming love a garden centre, so let's go have a little look, shall we? Yeah, I quite like garden centres as well. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Who have we turned into? very middle-aged. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the garden centre. 
The garden centre. That was the best garden centre I've ever been to in my whole life. It had the biggest array of houseplants I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie, RHS Wisley Garden and Garden Centre is the bomb. You've got to go. If you like plants, you like gardens, you're going to have a good time. Oh, and now it's Hermes time. Ratios. It's all about the ratio, guys. Guys, leave a comment down below if you eat hummus basically every day of your life because I feel like... Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Are we the only ones? We can't be the only people who are so addicted. Good evening. So I was thrown together a mishmash Mexican salad. It's got like black beans, avocado, tomato, sweet corn, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, lettuce, and all sorts of goodness. Now, I have an announcement to share with you. Today, the day that I filmed this video, I just released my brand new plant-based recipe ebook, which is Eat More Plants 2 plant powered basically an ebook jam packed full of high protein plant-based recipes which i'm so excited about so if you guys want to get hold of it i will leave a link down below in the description box go and have a browse i would love for you to check it out and any support that you give me honestly means the world now this mexican salad is not in the recipe book this is just like a mishmash throw together sort of salad but you know what is in the recipe book this dressing my huns this is an unbelievable creamy cashew dressing that just goes absolutely perfectly on a salad. It's super thick and creamy and just, oh my God, it is a game changer with any salad. So I highly recommend you check it out in the ebook. I'll get Ant to do a cheeky taste test. To be honest, he has eaten this dressing about 20 times before, so I know he likes it. Do you like the dressing? Do you like the salad? Do you like it all? This is one of your favourites, isn't oh, it? Good. He often requests so that I make this for him, so mm. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Hello, Scar. You haven't been on the vlog for a while. <laughs> it smells as well. What would you expect? I don't know. Sometimes they're not that smelly. I've got some candy floss. Cotton candy grapes. Cotton candy grapes. Cotton candy is an American word. But honestly, these are my favourite grapes. I'm, this is the first, well, this is the second time I've ever tried a cotton candy grape. And I have to say, it really does taste like candy floss when you first bite into it. Oh my god. Oh god. Well, it's really weird. It's a bit of a head mess, do you know what I mean? It is. We are going to wrap it up for the vlog here. We're going to settle in for a chill Sunday night. Personally, I'm going to be reading this book. I know you guys are always asking me for book recommendations and I'm only about four chapters into this, but honestly, I mean, four chapters is about a third of the book, but it is so good. So good. I will leave a link down below. I don't want to give anything away for you guys, but it's basically like a fiction book, but it has lessons within it, one could say. So oh, you've ruined it now. Well, we were now saying anything about the plot, but... Honestly, I'll leave a link down below. This book is so freaking good. Highly recommend, I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna probably have a bath and read this tonight. That's my agenda. That's your agenda. And also potentially might use the Theragun mm -hmm. because our muscles are very tight, aren't they? We did a little stretch session earlier, but I'm still oh, so tight. Relax. Yeah, so we're gonna have a little Theragun sesh, a little reading sesh, super chilled evening. And that's our plan, isn't it? It is our plan. Zana has actually had this book in her bag all day. She's carried it around for three hours while we're at the gardens, just in case she had a spare half an hour to read the book. I just really like this book. I just wanted to have it there just in case there's an opportunity to read a few pages. Do you know what I mean? Well done, Brit Bennett. Anyway, highly recommend it. We've had a fantastic day. We've had a fantastic Sunday. And we're really happy to be back vlogging after a brief hiatus last weekend. Oh, so wow, last weekend. I did the video about the shower bag and stuff. Oh. So yeah, we had a week off vlogging last week and it feels good to be back. Yeah, what? It feels good to be back, good. Does it feel good for you to be back? I feel I love being in front of the camera, babe. You know that. Do you actually? <laughs> 
I love wine when you mug, you know that. <laughs> I never know what's real or not with you. I know, I like it that way. <laughs> Keeps you guessing, doesn't it? <laughs> you never know when I'm serious. Okay, I so. I don't know why, to be honest. No, no, I don't think you do. We are going to wrap up the vlog, aren't we? Yeah, we're done. We're done. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. So what do I need to do? If you like the video, then we would like it if you could please hit the like button. Yes, please. We'd subscribe to, to the channel. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Mm -hmm. Tell your friends, your family, stepmom, your dog, sister, your dog, cat. And they got YouTube as well. Yeah. <laughs> and leave a comment. And leave a comment. Yeah. If your dog can leave a comment, then uh, let me know his YouTube channel because I want to follow the dog. Yeah, he's got some serious skills. Some skills. <laughs> All right, guys. It's been really nice to chat with you today and just to spend our day with you. And we hope you have a good one. I love you loads. Have a good day. Bye. God, we literally chat nonsense, don't we?